what's up? It was Jonathan Bay Area Throwbacks, and I gotta admit, when I make a mistake. So, I bought this jersey a while back on eBay. Uh, Joanna Cespedes, uh, team issued, or game, it was one of the game issue, team issue, one of them. Um, spring training jerseys, right from 2014. Now, recently, I bought this, um, Team issued Ro uh, Sergio Romo Giants. Um, what do you call it? Spring training batting practice jersey. Now, mind you, these are from the same years, uh, 2014 to 2016. Um, they wore the MLB had these style specific jerseys with that those jock tags right there with the team, the same style, same materials, everything. Right. So this with the the little collar right there. I don't know if you can see kind of the, the collar ends there on both. So that was, um, you know, I bought it, the Cespedes. And, you know, the Cespedes was, uh, at the time he was on the A's, he was probably my favorite player in the league. So when I saw the team issue jersey of his come up, I wasn't even that crazy about the style, but just because it was him, I said, oh, I want to get it. So I did. And never thought anything of it you know i mean there wasn't no proof but i just kind of went with it you know um I'm, I'm i don't want to go back in ebay and look at everything i don't remember if i asked questions or not probably did but anyway so point being got it thought i had a team issue jersey so like i said fast forward i get this one now this one has the um the what do you call it the mlb certification sticker whatever you call it if you if i put it in mlb.com it tells me team issued batting practice from 2015 uh and it's like october or something now they wore the same for batting practice and spring training so same jersey so anyways i'm looking at this and i notice made in i don't know if you can see it I decided to flip the camera so it's better. So made in USA, right? Now look at this jersey. Made in Indonesia. So I was wondering, that already had me kind of going, you know, tripping a little bit. So I look at the A's at the Cespedes jerseys tag in here. And now it does say, you know, made 2014, but it says 3800 style number. So then I look at the, the Romo, and I get, this one's more faded, but I get 0,380. So, some people, and I realize, something which I've known anyway, usually when you have a zero in front, lots of times that would be team issued or game worn, opposed to the um, style numbers that are um, tag, tag numbers that are, start with a number that's not zero. Anyways, though, I realized pretty much what I bought was a retail authentic Cespedes 2014 to 2016 era batting practice spring training jersey. Now, mind you, it's cool. It's still a Cespedes jersey. And, and in comparison, they're literally like they're the same. They're pretty much like there's no baseball always has done a good job, at least since my jersey collecting time. So, you know. At least authentic jersey collector. At least I know since the 2010s and on. Uh, my jerseys before that, but that's when I was really worn to the authentics and stuff. Um, the 2010s on Majestic and on Nike, they're retail authentics and gamers. Um, are pre are, they're like the same. It's, it's really the same. So even though this was made in Indonesia, even though this was um, not a team issued like I thought or anything like that, it it is literally the same as this. There's, there's really no difference. Um so, you know, it is what it is, um, but that just shows you got to do your research. You know, you don't don't get excited and just jump on something, you know, do your research. And I know sometimes doing that research can um, be the difference between getting the item and not getting it. Yeah, just that time killed in between. But, you know, if you're someone who's a stickler like me, you know, I kind of wish I would have known this wasn't a gamer because then maybe I could have, you know, um, 
I don't remember the pictures the guy had up or whatever. I bought it a while ago, but, you know, I could ask for the pictures, paid more attention to the tag and this. And then told him, like, hey, you know, it's not a TNT mission. Maybe he would have gave me a deal because I would have, you know, proved to him that it was just a retail authentic. Or maybe he didn't care or wouldn't believe me. Or maybe he did it on purpose just to make someone buy it like me. Point being, I didn't spend a crazy amount for it. So it's not like I spent, you know. So I would have probably spent the same amount if it was just retail authentic. But point being, that's just, um, you know, lesson learned for me. It's all good. It's still an authentic. Still going to wear it. Do your research, though. And yeah, do your research, especially when you're talking about eBay and these, you know, secondhand markets. Do your research. Um, ask people in groups. Re you know, Google. Ask for more pictures on eBay. Most sellers will. Some are just lazy, crappy sellers, but they'll sell, um, ask for more pictures, research, you know, zoom in, figure out what you got, ask for tags. A lot of that stuff matters. So, anyways, that's that. Either way, I'm still, you know, happy with both of these. Everyone have a good day. I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye.